What is trademarks? Here we go. A trademark is a distinctive sign which identifies certain goods as those produced or provided by a specific person or enterprise. What does that mean? What, is that, what does all that mean? The first thing that comes to my mind is Cactus Jack. You know what Cactus Jack? When I say Cactus Jack, y'all type in the chat. When I say Cactus Jack, what is the first thing that pops into your mind? Type it in the chat right now. If I say Cactus Jack, what artist pops into your mind? What, what do you think about? What brand do you think about? I know for me, if I see something that was to say Cactus Jack, the first thing that pops into my mind is Travis Scott, right? Because he has a lot of um, brands. He has a lot of things that he does as far as his shoes, as far as his clothing, as far as this new drink, this new beverage. I, I, I saw the other day, it actually broke records for being one of the best selling seltzer beverages in the history um, you know, of, of the spirits industry. So he has created a moat outside of just having music, you know, outside of just having doing great shows and doing touring. Um, and especially it's very, very important because in a pandemic type of situation where a lot of artists not necessarily dropping music, I believe Astro World was put out in 2017, four years later, right? Um, he hasn't put out for the most part any music outside of other tapes, collabs and stuff like that. He hasn't necessarily been touring. Um, but I think one of the most important things that that's very, very important is um, he has created stuff outside of, you know, his music and that's his trademark. So what is a trademark? I would just say it's something that people, when they see, they, they basically see that mark and they put it with you. For example, if I say golden arches, the first thing that you're going to say is McDonald's. If I say, uh, two dice, the first thing you're going to say is Domino's. If I say red B with a star next to it, you're going to say, B stars, right? So it's just these marks that, you know, when you see um, people just identify those marks to represent a certain brand. And a lot of times with a lot of companies, what it is, they have these certain brands and they have these certain marks. And many of the times people don't even realize the marks alone outside of their revenues, outside of um, their technology, outside of the intellectual property that they're on, they have very, 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 very high value investing into that brand. So when McDonald's chose to do that, when they chose to put their trademark with Travis Scott's trademark, they valued his trademark to say, okay, this is something that won't necessarily take our brand down. Um, but what it will do is enhance the value of our brand. Um, and it, Travis Scott would say, well, McDonald's is a very, very reputable, reputable brand. So this will you know, enhance the value of my brand. So it's very important that we just think about when we say trademarks, just think about a logo, um, an image or something like that, that kind of makes you think of something. So like I said, if, when I think about Cactus Jack, when I think about the, the backwards check mark, when I think about, um, you know, just all of these different things that I love, you know, the clothes that I love and things like that. Um, I think about Travis Scott and how he has used his trademark, the Cactus Jack trademark or the Yeezy trademark. Um, to kind of, you know, that's for Kanye West to create a brand um, that stands alone necessarily, not outside of music, but outside of actually like people, you know, streaming and listening is something different.